Hello and welcome! My name is Ajax Post and join me today for the start of a brand new little series for Recipe for Disaster. And why are we starting a brand new series for this game? Well, because it has just exited early access and it's now officially released! Oh yes, build version one point and a set of numbers thereafter because developers are like that. They like giving numbers to their various versions. Anyway, first off, before we go any further, I must give huge thanks and appreciation to the guys at Casido Games for providing me with a key and granting me early access into this uh, build of the game, the, the official release build of the game. Things might have changed slightly since I got this key and the official version that you guys can now play, but I imagine they'll be fairly modest. Anyway, what have we got here? Not a great deal has changed. If you've been following the early access development, they have obviously been increasing the uh, the facilities, the options, the capabilities, the polish of the game all the way through that. They've used that very nicely indeed. What can we do here? First off, of course, we need to decide who we are. We need to have an avatar to play within the game. And I am, of course, going to be Adam Slade. And we can create ourselves an avatar like here. Now this is in fact the one I've created for myself. Uh, if you watch any of my early campaign or early access sandbox mode uh, videos for the game, quite a few months ago now, uh, it's pretty much the same that we see here. I've exchanged, however, the delightful orange colour outfit for this rather pleasant and rather radioactive looking green. Uh, and we have a selection of hats we could use, different types of hats, or no hat at all. So this is just for our avatar. Now, he won't necessarily actually wear this in-game. Yeah, that's entirely up to you. But we'll leave him... Oh, actually, that, that's, that's quite stylish, isn't it? No, that's not serious at all. It's a Christmas hat. Don't be silly. A fedora does very nicely. Skin tone. Uh, you've, in fact, all of these coloured options here, you can choose pretty much anything you like. Now, I am indeed a, a very pale kind... Pale and pasty Englander. So that, that's pretty much approximate. Um, unfortunately, the body types are only two, generic male and generic female. Uh, I could have various styles of facial hair or none. No, absolutely not. Goatee, I, I like goatee too. It's the most sensible one, I think. Uh, different styles of outfit we can use. I do like pockets, but I think... For this purpose, no, we're not going to do that. We're just a polo shirt. It is high summer at the moment here in the UK, so that might be appropriate. Or, um, no, I quite like, uh, what was it we had? A suit. I always used to love wearing a suit. But no, we're not going to do that. We're going to wear a cardigan, a chef's jacket. What did I have? I cut a French jacket. That's, I don't know. Whatever it was, we'll have that. So we can select all these. And we'll see more about the outfits as we go into the game. So this is your avatar. You can decide who he or she looks like. Uh, you have a variety of skills that you can give yourself. Now, you are limited here. You will gain experience and level up as you play the game. Uh, but when you start off, you've got very modest skills. You can have one level three, which is a rather good ability at a particular uh, task within the restaurant either sort of in the kitchen cooking or front of house cleaning serving or charisma for example uh, you can set just one of those to be really rather good and two yeah okay-ish kind of skills so I put myself down here as rather good at the grill and okay at the fryer and okay charisma I'd like to be better at charisma I think I am personally but this isn't really me this is just a pretend me so I'm, I'm having to give myself a cooking skill, I think, to start with there. You also have a loved skill and a hated skill, which basically impacts on what you like doing and what you don't like doing effectively. So if you give this particular person, and this applies to all your members of staff, not just you as the avatar, as the head chef or head honcho of the restaurant, every member of your staff has similar uh, skill levels and loves and hates. They have one of each to start with. Uh, so if you get someone who hates cleaning, a bit like I do, if you give them the cleaning role within the restaurant, they're not going to be happy. Their stress level is going to go right through the roof and be very, very unhappy. So you need to be uh, careful of that when you're employing people. Traits. So carnivore is likes eating meat-based 
meat-based dishes, whereas if you have an animal lover, they're not going to enjoy cooking meat or anything like that. So as it says here in the description, a uh, minus one skill check modifier when preparing a dish containing any meat or seafood ingredients. Uh, carnivore, I get a plus one skill check, so I'm better at cooking those particular things. And as we'll see some of these these, <laughs> these traits play out as we play through the game. The employees, again, will have a variety of these in their characteristics. That's my avatar, so I've created him. We can also create uniforms for our staff. Now I've created a few already, uh, but again, you've got the same sort of thing and you can have separate styles for the male and female staff. So if we go, this is my, this was my original design for my, my previous Let's Plays. It's all very orange, very Ajax post in color. Uh, and there can be different styles different outfits for the male and female members of your staff and again you've got choices of clothing you can give them uh, so we will play with that as we go through now this is my current preferred style of outfit now I've got two sets of outfit here one for those people who work in the kitchen and one for those who serve front of house uh, so we don't really need big aprons and chef's hats and stuff for the people doing the the customer interactions, for example. You know, the taking of orders and serving and cleaning up the mess in the toilets. They don't need to wear chef's hats and aprons. Well, actually, the apron might be quite good if you're cleaning out the toilets. Anyway, by the by, the one I'll cha change I wanted to make here was the front of house. I've decided against the orange cap. I quite like the baseball cap. But we're going to change that out. So we're going to change that to uh, black primary colour. Oh, one nice little thing here is that in all of these, if you want to ensure that all your bits of the outfit, like the trousers and the top, the jacket or whatever, the shirt, have the same shade of green, you can come here and highlight and control C copy the hex code. So you can make sure they are exactly the same shade of, of green or orange or whatever colour it is you're prepared to use, which is very nice. I like it when developers put that in, make it easy to replicate uh, particular aspects of, of the uh, the game interface. Anyway, I want to change the baseball cap here, which I think is probably the best outfit for front of house, particularly when I know what type of restaurant I'm going to be running, which I'll reveal in but a moment. I'm actually going to make that a black cap and that will be it. Okay, yeah, I think that works better than orange with the green and yellow outfit. I'll leave the vaguely orange shoes as, as a weird accent, a memory of the old Ajax days. And we can transfer these colours to the female in this case. So this is the highlighted member of staff, the type of staff, the male staff. And the transfer, transfer colours just transfers the settings here to whatever uh, the other gender is you have in the background there. So I'll transfer that black baseball cap, there you go, to the female member of staff. And we will save that. Okay, so that's basically setting up who we are playing with. You do have an option of creating your own generic recipes here. Now, I am not a cook. I have no idea how to prepare dishes unless I'm following very strictly a recipe. Uh, I'm not imaginative enough or creative enough to, to understand cooking, to be honest. But uh, if you want to create your own set of dishes, you can do that here. And we'll do a lot of this as we go through uh, the game. Uh, there are also recipes on the Steam Workshop, so you can download them from there and integrate those into your game as well. Uh, one thing to note here is that if you're creating a recipe in your game itself, not out here in the sort of the, the main menu, if you're creating a recipe in game, you will need to export it. There'll be an export up option up here uh, if you want to actually use that menu in other games that you play as well. If you want to add it to your catalogue of known recipes. So that's a bit, little bit of a gotcha that I think has caught out some of the players uh, of the early access version. So we may use these recipes uh, as we go into the game, which we're about to start right now. The new game. We have a tutorial, so we can learn the ropes here. That takes you through the essential essentials of running the game, uh, but there's a lot more to it than the tutorial lets on. Yeah, I discovered that if you saw my, my last series of the game. There's a campaign mode kind of thing, 
where you can go through a whole series of various scenarios and earn rewards and just build up your expertise and tackle different challenges within the game. And these I've already completed, or I, I'm not sure if I completed the big carrot or not, if I remember, if I can't remember, to be honest. Um, so yeah, you can go through these. These are the ones I've completed so far. And a couple of these, I think, are actually quite new to the game. So the, a number of those has, have been added during the ac early access process. But we're not going to be doing the scenarios. We're going to do this game from scratch. We're going to play in sandbox mode. Now, there are three star... or well, four. Actually, three. I can clearly see there are four. <laughs> uh, you can either go into a, a preset difficulty level. Now, I found the even the easy was a little bit of a challenge. So unless you're really good at these kind of management style games, then I, I would recommend going for the easy, at least for your first tryout in the game. The custom rules, so you can set your own challenge to make it as, as diverse and interesting as you want. Because here you can see what the difference is between the easy, medium and hard modes are. So in hard mode, you start with very little money, your popularity is very low, and you have quite significant losing conditions. So you cannot go negative at any time. You cannot have any employee get so stressed they sort of collapse on the ground in a gibbering wreck kind of mode. So you can't have any of those bad things going on. And all the challenges in terms of dirtiness and dynamic events and customers and all the rest of this, the reviews will be hard. You have all sorts of different customers coming in. That will be quite difficult. Yeah, that, that's, that is quite difficult. Uh, medium is slightly less, so you can't have negative balance at the end of the day, as opposed to any time. Or you're allowed employees to get stressed as long as they stay on the payroll. But as soon as one is fired or quits, then you lose the game. And again, you start with a little bit more money. Easy, you start with a 50% popularity, quite a lot of starting money, no losing conditions, and everything else is as you want it. However, what I've done is I've set my own set of conditions, and what that creates is a unique key up here, a unique seed, which you can then share with your mates, anyone else who's playing the game, and see if they can do as well in your style of, of restaurant as you've done. So the key I've chosen, if I just pop out of the game for a second, and I copy that key into here, that seed, so that gives me here 25 grand, popularity of 40%, which is too bad. I don't like any of these losing conditions, to be honest, so I'm going to leave those uh, as, as empty. So it's kind of an endless game. My location is going to be downtown, yeah, as opposed to residential, commercial, suburbs, or anything like that. The difficulty things I'll leave as normal, or medium, and my theme is going to be fast food. Uh, as opposed to homely, vegetarian, or whatever. So I'm going to be focusing on fast food. My starting employee is normal, normal. My mood, I'm going to keep fairly easy because employees can be difficult to manage. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that as easy. Uh, again, fires and so on, I like having that sort of challenge that I have situations I need to fix, but without being too difficult or demanding of me. Certainly not for a sort of a, a return to the game. Infinite ingredients, no, we're gonna leave that off. We're going to have to keep check of our stock. So that is the seed I am playing with. And let's see how this looks in the actual game. So let's play a new game of Recipe for Disaster. So here we are in our lovely little downtown area. The tiny little restaurant space. Uh, not quite sure why it's got such a. Ooh, it's got an outdoor tile there in the kitchen. Anyway, no. One of the things I've discovered in sort of playing for a, a brief while is that this little space, although it kind of works, isn't going to be big enough to cope with the number of customers and the types of recipes that you will want to put in, even from day one. Now, I have got 25 grand to spend, so I think the first thing to do is to make this space that much bigger. So we're going to take out, I think, I'm going to move all this stuff outside to give me room in which to move, and I'll place it all back once we're done. There we go, put you there, and a shrubbery, which has to be, you have to say shrubbery, in a vaguely Monty Python-esque way, of course. Of course you do. Yep. 
and what we're going to do is make our kitchen here bigger because we're going to need a fair number of appliances and in particular storage storage i found need it is, is a bit of a demand you will need to cater for that now there's a little issue i have with building walls here okay so if i build you like so uh, can i remove you see it wants to delete all of that bite mm. if I take you out I want to delete just this wall okay well I've kind of done it which is odd but there you are. I have a feeling there is a rule to it which I sort of worked out but then, then I went and forgot it. So, yeah, that, that wasn't very good of me, was it? Okay, so let's build this back in. Oh, missed out a bit there. There you go. Okay. Now, we don't particularly want grass or pavement in our kitchen. Paint the floor. So we'll actually duplicate or eye drop that style. And place that in there. That's good. So it's all the same. Uh, the wall colour, likewise, we're going to paint the wall, there you go, copy that and paint that in the same colour, that's lovely, and likewise on the outside, it's all going to be this lovely brick colour, splendid, so if I extend this out somewhat more, can I extend you like so? Can I delete this wall? What are you going to delete? Everything. Ugh! I'm sure there was a way of doing that that wasn't quite so destructive. Anyway, let's get... Actually, we've earned money by deleting all those walls. We're we going to build those walls again, are we? Okay. There we go. And like so. And I think that might be enough. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll definitely be enough if I build it like that. Okay, there are no doors anymore, which is fine. So we're going to put some doors in. We need a... We've got a door there into the kitchen from the restaurant. But we want a back kitchen door. Oh, what's the difference then between kitchen door and a back kitchen door I don't know so if I put you in like so that's cool uh, we want our floor well, actually we need to do the walls and stuff again don't we don't oh. paint the floor okay duplicate or will I drop that put you in there and the walls we want internally to be that style that's good. And in here, within the kitchen, what style do we want to paint the wall? Ooh, get the objectives out of the way for a moment. And a nice subway style. Yeah. That works, I think. Yep, that works for me. Okay. Now, for some reason, in this particular seed, I get these tables outside. You can have tables outside, but I don't want them there. I want them inside for the moment, I think. So that's what we're going to move those inside. Oh, I need a front door for the customers to come in, don't I? Uh, a glass two-way door. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll put you there, I think. That looks lovely. So let's move these tables into our restaurant and we can use R to rotate them we'll have you there and we'll have you oops not just the base I want the entire table there you go and we'll put you can I put you there now that no it's too close to the other table so I can't put it there so we need to move you along a bit yeah people getting in each other's way
good. So we've got lots of seating. Uh, we're also going to need uh, a toilet. So I'm going to put some internal walls in. And that needs to be, I think, ooh, I shall make it three. So if I put you like so. And notice it's remembered the wall style that I chose last. So we've got this weird subway tile for the outside of the toilet area, which I don't actually want. I think I will have you. So will I drop you and put you using the shift key along there. Now inside here, that's fine, isn't it? I think that's good for the that sort of tile. So take you and then shift you. That's it, that works. Okay, that looks good. Uh, but we do want a toilet, so we'll put a toilet in there. Probably rotate you so they can get to it. We'll just put one in for the moment. I don't think we need too many. We haven't got that many covers, that many tables. We'll need a sink. Okay, and also some lights. And the light will be... What's our cheapest light? Ooh, these wall lights are quite cheap. 70 as opposed to 100 so I can put you there and there that's good oh we we need a door don't we on the toilet <laughs> yes I think we do uh, where's where's the doors you're in here now there's a toilet door is that a toilet stall door there it is I can't put you in there because there's no wall I need a wall to start with Okay, that's it, and then I can put a door on that wall. That's it, that works. Now we don't need a door for the for the sink, that's fine. Okay, can I actually do some more lights around the restaurant? So we'll put a light there. We'll have a light there. We might have one. I shall put one there because we'll have some windows. Uh, what do we want for windows? Yeah, a common window. Yeah. There. 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 And perhaps also there. Okay. Now I'm just thinking that seat there is a little bit in the way. They're going to get disrupted by people going, coming in and out and going to the toilet. So we'll actually put that seat there. So that will do for, whoops, keep pressing escape, but I don't want to press escape. So that works for that. We can check the ambiance of our restaurant by clicking the ambiance button here. And green is really good ambiance. Yeah. Which is nice. And outside, of course, plants give you ambiance as well. So you want some pleasant ambiance around the entrance. So if we move you down here around the door. That'd be good. Oh, it's these statue things, these lamps, which give us the ambiance. So if I put one there, that makes it look more attractive on the way in, doesn't it? Yeah, we've got vases on the desks, on the tables rather, so that makes them look better. We could put paintings up and stuff, but I think that will do for now. We'll see how our guests respond to that. However, we do need to put equipment into our kitchen. So we get a four bar stool. A four? Oh, what does that do? Oh, it's a bar. This is new. Yes, we're not going to put a bar in just yet. <laughs> so, no. We're going to have a fryer. And we will have you uh, facing that way, I think. Uh, we'll have a grill. Because this is a fast food outfit, remember. So, these are the sort of things we're going to want. Probably want a prep table. So, that's a counter ta countertop. So we'll put you there, I think. And we're going to want some fridges. A double door fridge gives me 100 storage as opposed to 40 for the single. So we'll go for that. I think we'll go for the larger one to start with. That's good. I'm going, I think I want to move this door actually. So I'm going to move you to there. So we're going to need some storage, which is dry storage for all the other stuff in our our recipes and we may need to move some of this stuff down actually so let's move you can I move you there 
Or do I want it against the wall? Yeah, actually, let's rotate you so you're there. And can I put you there? Looks like I can. We'll see if people can, can fit in there. And the countertop for prepping. We'll put that there. Okay. So I, I want to put another storage shelf in. There you go. And we'll put you like so. We'll see if that works. Fire is a risk, so we're going to put in some fire extinguishers. And actually, turn ambiance off so I can see what I'm doing properly. So there's our fire extinguisher. Can I put one? No, not there. I can put one there. Another one there. We might as well have one out in the restaurant so customers know that we are taking their safety seriously. That's good. Could do with some lights as well, actually, in the kitchen so my staff can see what they're doing. Uh, but we just want, yeah, fluorescent lights will do fine. They'll do fine. So we'll have one there and one there. That's good. And I think our restaurant is looking fairly good. Oh, we want to put this bench back, so we'll move you. That defines pretty much where our staff will, will hang out and rest when they get tired during the day. So we'll put that there to make it look a more pleasant kind of place. I think that's looking okay, actually. So we're looking for staff now. We have me. Well, this is my, oh, this is my default staff. I've got you already, have I? Okay. So who have we got? We've got someone who's good at... Uh, that's charisma, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and we've got you're really good at charisma. Now you're a party monster. You arrive late and leave early. Uh, you're really good at frying, though. Actually, Kai's is that Kai? Kylie is good at frying as well. I'd love someone who's good at cleaning. Hmm. What are you? You're inspiring. You're good. Annoying. Oof. Uh, Emma looks quite good though as charisma. Stephen Jordan. Actually, you know, Stephen Jordan is. Yeah, Stephen Jordan I like. I'm not sure I want. Ooh, you're a party monster, but you level up faster. I'm going to fire Daniel, I think. Yeah. Actually, no, let's check who we've got to replace him to start with. <laughs> Stephen Foster, uh, who are you? Uh, you're, you're, you love the oven. We haven't got an oven yet. Uh, you're, oh, you're good at cleaning, Philippa. I like you and you like the countertop. Good at charisma. That's what You're annoying, but you are proactive. So you'll serve random tables if you're idle. Okay. Uh, Andrew hates serving, but he's really good at the fryer. So you could replace Daniel there. You cost me a bit more, and then that is a good skill to have on the fryer. Okay, we're going to hire Andrew, and I'm going to get rid of Daniel here. Yep, thank you. Uh, Philippa, I like the fact you're good at cleaning. Actually, Andrew, sorry, Andrew's good at cleaning as well, but I want a good server, and nobody's really good at serving. Stephen likes it. Actually, Stephen will be good serving. Uh, I think I will have Philippa on staff. Do I want to get rid of someone? I think, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of Emma. Well, you're quite expensive as well, actually, aren't you, Emma? So we'll fire Emma and we'll employ Philippa. I think five people to start with is enough. Okay, now this is where you can set your staff to give you give your staff uniforms. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a group, and you are going to be my kitchen people. Oh, you you could be the orange colour. That's right, and you'll use the Ajax kitchen uniform. There you go. And who are we going to put in the kitchen? going to take you 
and I want to put you into the kitchen group. Just drag you in there. Uh, Andrew is going to be in the kitchen group as well. Yeah. So these guys now automatically get the chef's hat and the apron and the rest of it. And front of house, we're going to add a new group called front for no particularly good reason. Oh, I quite like purple as well. So that, that's fine. You're going to be front of house. That's good. We're going to save you. And we're going to put Stephen in... Uh, where's front of house gone? Oh, there it is. So Stephen's going to go in front of house. And we'll also put in Philippa, front of house. And Kylie, you can go in kitchen, I think. And I don't want the default group at all. So I can't get rid of it, though, can I? Which is annoying, isn't it? I could rename you, couldn't I? Yeah, I'll rename you. Call you front of house. Uh, you can be a nice ready kind of colour and you'll be the front of house uniform yeah we'll save that group and we'll actually put that's right front of house so we'll put you people in that group and that's it so I can get rid of the front group so I've just got the groups I need okay I think we're ready to open our business oh we need a menu don't we I haven't done that yet gosh uh, so we're going to be serving mostly French, sorry, fast food. So what have we got here? What this, does this recipe require? It requires a prep table and a grill. That's all. So we can definitely put that Maximus Burger on the menu. Oh, it tells me here what uh, kit I want. And the mansion of oh, fries, fries, fries. Yeah, you just need frying. And hey, what should we have? Mansion of ribs. Yeah, grill. Fr yes, yep, yeah, that's fine. And something for afters. A berry nana ice. That looks good. Yep. Yeah. And you can see here, I've got all the equipment I need, but I need to stock up on these appropriate ingredients and our storage. And we'll just look at what we've got in our recipes. And we'll set our global minimum at 10. And as we can see here, I need more dry storage. So, okay, so that <laughs> 10 doesn't work. So I ignore that, ignore. Actually, this is only used in one recipe. So we don't need quite so much beef sirloin. That's, that's, uh, make that five okay the blueberries we don't need that to be ten either that could be five right I'm gonna go through this and just edit this a bit so that I've not overstocking uh, on the first day right so those ingredients are all reset but I still actually think I want to tinker with my menu a little bit more uh, uh, boil oh have I got a recipe that requires boiling Go to the menu. Oh, that's a stove. Oh, the mansion of ribs requires a stove. Okay, right. So we're not going to have that on the menu. Right, we'll remove that. We've got two types of Maximus burger, haven't we? <laughs> so, they are spelled exactly the same, which is a bit reckless of me, isn't it? Uh, or you. But you are different. You require an oven. Ah, so you are definitely a different meal. So can I edit you in the recipe here? Yeah. So actually, you should be the baked maxi burger. And I'll save you like so. So our menu. We'll remove you from there. Okay, so that looks okay. We've got grilling, prepping and frying. Actually, what might be nice is to take things if sorry, if I take that and edit that recipe uh, you, uh, you can't, I don't think you can duplicate a recipe at this moment which is rather annoying uh, so I need to create a new recipe uh, which we'll call the maxi cheeseburger so we'll create you 
And this is going to be ground beef. Uh, we're going to grill that with a little bit of bacon and some cheese. Mature cheese. Yeah, bake that in there as well. Okay, and we're going to want to prep that. We're going to have a burger bun. Yep, which will just be prepared. And what we're going to put on that. Actually, if I put you there, so you yeah, you then go into the bun. That's fine, I think. I think that's what we're doing here. Uh, do we want to butter that or anything? No, no. Ooh, put some sauces on it, I think. Yeah, uh, a little bit of mayonnaise. Oh, a bit of paprika. I like that. That's good. And this isn't. This is not going to be a maxi burger, really. Is this? It's a fairly simple burger, <laughs> I think. Bacon cheeseburger. Vegetable oil. Oh, we might put some oil on the. Yeah, on the on the meats we're putting into the burger. Save that. We'll export it as mentioned earlier. So that should now be available generally to all my games, if I understand it correctly. Okay, and back into the menu, and we'll add all the cheeseburgers there already. That's fine. Now the fries, fries, fries. I yeah is a th is three stages, which means it takes forever to cook, which isn't great for fast food. Well, it describes it as fast food. There, we've only got one fryer, so this is a bit asking a bit much, I think. So I think what we'll do is we'll take some of this out. We've got bacon, fries and butter. We'll put the onion in there. We've already got the bacon, we've got potato fries yet, so we will delete that step. So we'll just call this one fries fries. Yeah, it's still fast food, it takes four minutes. That's good, we'll save that. I think we're ready to go. About time too. So let's open our business. The ingredients have arrived. We now need to allocate our staff to their various roles, which we'll do when they turn up on site. Go, we've got three. Who are you? And why aren't you in the appropriate uniform? Who are you? I don't know who you are. Oh, you're not a member of my staff, are you? So we've got one, two, three. Where, where are they all? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit confused now. Oh, right. That must have been the guy we fired. That's all right. Okay. They're all on site now in their lovely new outfits. More or less on site. Okay. So who's going to be doing the grilling? Who's best at grilling? That will be me or Kylie. Put me on there and then Kylie. And then maybe Andrew. Okay. On the fryer. That's Andrew is best at that. And then Kylie. Uh, I suppose I could third hand if they need someone. On the countertop. Who's best at prepping? Oh, Philippa. Oh, she's the only one who can do that. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, heck. <laughs> but she loves doing it. Okay. Um... Mmm. Then Kylie. And then Andrew. That could be a bit of an issue. Okay. So who's going to attend at table? Stephen loves doing it. As we see, Kylie hates doing it. Adam loves serving table. But I think Philippa ought to do that. And we'll duplicate that setup to all the other tables here. That's good. We also need to set up our cleaning zones. So we're going to create a new cleaning zone for the kitchen. Like so. Uh, can I change the name of this? Don't think I can. So who's going to clean this? Uh, Philippa and Andrew. And if need be, Kylie. Don't need to keep the kitchen area too clean. They've got other stuff to do like cooking. So I think 45 might work there. And for the front of house, we'll have, we need this to be kept properly clean. 
whoops, stay in cleaning mode, create a new area. I, the game, one of the game tips is to create a separate area for toilets to make sure they are always kept in best condition because if they flood, which they will, uh, it can be a bit of a nightmare for your reputation. Uh, okay, so cleaning, Philippa and Andrew and then Kylie. We'll keep that at 70%. I think we'll see how that goes. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So we come out of cleaning mode. And let's see if anyone wants to turn up to our restaurant. Oh, we have a guest. And you're Benjamin Hunter. You love grilled stuff. You love eggs. You hate, you don't like ice cream. Ooh, our only dessert is ice cream. You're flatulent, which will unfortunately put off other guests. <laughs> you're a fast walker, which is nice, I suppose. Okay, so what are you going to be ordering? He's ordering. The order's been submitted. And he wants a Maximus burger. Is that all he wants? That's excellent. Customers do require more than one dish sometimes. That's fine. So this should be done fairly speedily. Got enough room in the kitchen, I think, for everyone to get around. Another guest has come in. Oh, Philippa did, performed quite poorly. Oh dear. And this one person wants four dishes. A burger, fries, another burger, and the ice cream dish. Wow. Okay, that's going to take a lot of cooking and preparing. <laughs> that really will. Oh, and we've got another customer coming in. This is good. Andrew performed well at cooking. Oh, we've got a three-star review. That's quite... Why, why are you going out that way? That's a two-way door, isn't it? Other things I can't build now. New deliveries of supplies arrive on the hour. We've got an employee for hire. Someone's turned up. Uh, who has got a good charisma skill? I think that was... We'll, we'll take... Uh, who's not doing anything? Philippa, I think. Yeah, you can go talk to them. Yeah, there you are. Create a dedicated cleaning area for bathrooms. I suck at cooking, but it's my dream to become a chef. It's actually very cheap. Mm. Now, what I found is if I negotiate their salary, it can go up. Let's see what he's like. He's hired. Okay, so what can you do? You're serving. Okay, we can do that. Actually, that's quite good because... Who have we got serving here? We've got Stephen and Philippa. Jessica Mills. Who's Jessica? Oh, you're a customer that requires serving. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's on that table. Oh, another new feature I hadn't spotted. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yes, yeah, so serving. Uh, okay. In first place, we'll put a new guy, Ian. And then Stephen. And then Philippa. Okay, that's good. Oh, we need to duplicate that to the other tables. There we go. There we go. There we go. Done. It's okay. We're getting people who are doing good good cooking, and other people who aren't doing quite so well if they're on their secondary task, as it were. Okay, we've got a new request for a new dish. Uh, they like baked banana. That requires the installation of of a stove that's the thing so edit the recipe yeah requires baked I'm not going to do it I'm sorry I'm going to ignore that oh, I need to, it's already added to the menu as soon as you get that's another slightly odd thing when you go to add it as a recipe it immediately adds it to your menu as well which I don't want to do so we'll get rid of you remove you from I could edit the recipe. Let's edit the recipe, just in case we come to do it. So we're baking bananas. What, what do you do with a baked banana? Uh, you serve it... I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a fruity dish kind of thing, I would have thought, isn't it? Hmm. So that'll be served with watermelon on the prep table. And perhaps some orange. Yeah. And I do quite like kiwi. 
I'll accept. I haven't got. It. That's going to add to my storage demand, isn't it? Okay. So we'll take kiwi out. Yeah, I've got blueberries. We'll put blueberry in instead of the orange. <laughs> I have got mango instead of watermelon. Okay, so we'll put mango in. Uh, oh, and cherry. Yeah, baked banana and cherry. That's what we'll call it. Yeah, I, I don't know if that makes sense. Should we serve it with cream or something? Or Greek yogurt? Now I do have ice cream. Yeah, we'll put that there. That's fine. Okay, and we'll pretend it looks a bit like that. Okay, it's too cheap. Add more ingredients. I don't want to add more ingredients. What about some honey? No, that's going to be it. We're going to save it like that. Does it allow us to do that? Well, it has saved it. Okay, but I don't actually want it on the menu just yet. Because we don't have an oven. That's fine. Well, we can go into build mode here. So, I don't know why I didn't... Uh, okay, so... But, oh, it's a one-way door. I mean, that's what's causing the problem. Idiot. Okay, so that we need to remove. And we need to put in a two-way door. Ah, two, there, there it is. Glass door, two-way. That's better. Now guests can come in and go out the same way without going all the way through the kitchen. Oh, I've achieved one of my objectives. I've made over 500 quid. That's good. Once I achieve all these tier one objectives, like five star reviews and have five tables seated simultaneously, I've only got four tables here at the moment, then I'll get this decorative reward, which will improve the ambiance and reputation, I think, of my restaurant. So I'm doing quite well. So immediately I was thinking I need to make my place bigger. Is it hot in here? Hang on. James Mills is feeling hot. Oh no. Someone wants a day off. Okay, we'll go. There you go. What's going on here? If I can leave early today, I promise I'll stop complaining about doing a task I hate. But what's the time? It's 16.05. No. I don't think so. She'll now hate more actions. Oh dear. Uh, so, what are her stats? Oh, she hates charisma. <laughs> <laughs> hates the fryer. But you don't do frying, do you? No. So that's all right then. Good. <laughs> that's, uh, is it hot in here? Oh, it's Jamie. Uh, it's, might pass out. Oh, he's a guest, is he? Where are you? C can I highlight? Are you highlighted? Oh, there you are. Right, we'll get uh, Stephen to talk to you. Well, I hadn't seen that one before. So we can't check his stats, can we? No, we should have checked his stats before coming in to have this interaction. Oh, we'll give him a free meal then. Okay. Excellent. I, I love him go right up close to people. Employee for hire. Okay, right, who's... Get out of the kitchen! So, who are you? Oh, I, I need to select someone. Stephen, okay. I'm going to talk to this person. Uh, my mum taught me to use a fryer long ago. Yeah, you see, their salary's gone up now to 15. No, we're not going to hire you. No. It's, it's guesswork that you don't know actually how good they are going to be at at the at the cooking or whatever it is. Our reputation has gone up to forty-seven percent. We're doing quite well. Oh, hang on. Does he need a, need a pay rise? Is that what it's all about? So what are your thoughts? The lowest paid person here. How much are you paid? Oh, you the guy we employed off the street. Okay, we'll give you a bit more then. 
Okay, set that. There you are, 748. We'll see if that helps. You probably are still the lowest paid person on the payroll. Can I see this here? Uh, 748, 10, set. You're, oh, you're not the lowest paid anymore. I don't get paid because I run the run the joint. Yeah, you are amongst the lowest paid, but that's okay. We're getting quite close to the end of the day here. So I think we'll let Ian stay. We won't deal with here any more of his issues. You see his arrows are going up again now. Yeah, he, his mood is improving. That's fine. We shall see what tomorrow brings. Oh, end of date. We are closing now. Nearly half past seven in the evening. Wait for these customers to disappear. Now you guys are still waiting. Are you? Yes, somebody's complaining. Oh, it's raining, which means people are less happy about waiting in queue to get into the restaurant. They become more impatient. Well, that's okay now, because we are closing. We're not open anymore. Not for new customers. And they're gone. Oh, four stars. Thank you so much. A low app. It's dropping quite low. I, I don't think it is. No, with three stars, which I think is up on what it was to start with. And 48%, that's definitely better. Now, the review panel, we'll see that in the end of day review. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. So my staff now leave for home. Day's work well done. Thank you, guys. So we've had 66% positive reviews, only 19, you know, 20% negative. And uh, most of the complaints were about uh, lacking suitable dishes, which is fine. The cooking, generally all right. Okay. Uh, we made two grand. That's good. We spent four grand in building, rebuilding our restaurant. So putting that aside, we've actually made a fair profit. Absolutely, that is good. Staff. Stephen was idle a fair amount, but then his only job really is serving. I think he might be a secondary cleaner, but yeah. Everyone else, apart from me, has worked quite hard. Customer tastes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to read this panel, I'm afraid. So, is this nine people didn't like these dishes whereas most people liked the grilled egg <laughs> oh is this what the taste of my customers were Ooh, I'm not sure I'll have to do some more research on that dishes that were popular fries 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 that's very popular it's 40% of my total revenue I think or 40% of demand I'm not quite sure which Burger, yeah, that was do the cheeseburger does quite well. Uh, those, that's basically, that's, that basically that's my entire menu, isn't it? So that was quite good. <laughs> okay, so that was day one, and I might want to expand my restaurant here because I'm going to need more storage. I think looking at this, yeah, I've only got five slots left in my dry storage. I've got 40 in my refrigerator. I think we're going to need to expand our kitchen area. We're going to need to put another table in to meet my objectives of having five tables served at once. And we've got one five star review already, which is quite impressive. So that's where we'll begin our next episode here in Recipe for Disaster. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Recipe for Disaster. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better than that, though, if you've got anything to say, if I've misunderstood, got anything wrong in the game, then please do let me know. Uh, or if you've got anything you feel like saying at all, to be honest, uh, just drop it into the comments below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Recipe for Disaster. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.